In case of emergency, oxygen masks will fall from the ceiling. Put on your own mask before helping others. Please take a moment to locate your nearest emergency exit. Remember that the nearest exit may be behind you. If you're worried that your seat might, might give you the gay, please take that exit now. Let me introduce myself. It's my mom, my dad, grandma, and airline personnel. My name is Shailen Bergman. But you? Please call me Bear. Dr. S. Bear Bergman, if you want to be formal. Two names. That's great. That right there probably sets you off, doesn't it? I get it. You're thinking right now that there's something that I'm not telling you. Clever. Who really can be summed up in just a name or even two, anyway? So let me come out with it. I'm... I'm Jewish. Yeah, <laughs> you heard that right. I'm a good old, loud, argumentative, storytelling and family loving Jew boy. I'm also a husband. Not yet a father, but hopefully that'll be on this list soon enough. While I'm in the spiel of what I am, let's add on writer, performer, transmasculine, activist, and Canadian immigrant. I hear you. Transmasculine? That's a thing? Simple answer? Yes, it's a thing. Not so simple answer? No, it's not a thing. It's as many things as people can imagine. So, what is this transmasculine thing? Or those transmasculine things? Or whatever the right question is to ask. What the. Being transmasculine means having a lifetime of explaining yourself. It means spending an hour preparing to explain to your grandma's new landlord that you are, in fact, your grandmother's granddaughter, despite what outward appearances might suggest. It means traveling two hours in excruciating pain and trying to explain to a Mountie why you don't have your passport just to be sure that your husband can be next to you when you wake up post surgery. Being transmasculine means playing a never-ending game of real or not real, Velveteen Rabbit style, and with the whole world on the other team. Am I real? What is real anyway? I'm guessing that's not the answer you were looking for. So let's try this again. Maybe the best way to explain is with some background. Since I was little, I knew one thing for sure. I was no ordinary girl. I tried to make it work. I wore the dress at my bar mitzvah. An eyeshadow, mascara, tried it. Tried it, but didn't like it. It just didn't feel right. So I went to the next step. I tried being a butch. Short hair, plaid, all that. It felt better, but still not quite right. If anything, I was too feminine to be a butch. Conclusion? Being a girl, despite what my chromosomes say, was just not in my future. But even this isn't so simple. I knew girl was a no-go, but boy? Well, it sure feels better, but... It's still not a perfect fit. I know I'd be no happier with the body of a guy, so I don't even bother wasting my money and time on pills and surgery. But yeah, I do live more on the manly side. Gay manly side, if you want to be more specific. So there you go. I'm a transmasculine. Not male, not female. Rather, somewhere in between. And with that comes the explanations and the questioning. But it's not so bad. Not really. Think about it. I've overcome society's binary mindset. I figured out who I am. I've decided that I don't have to be a boy or a girl, and can instead live as both ferocious and cuddly, like a bear. And if I can do all this, well, I'm pretty sure I can do anything.